the Octosians. Or Freezer's race. <laughs> I'm just trying to make the freezer force, as you can see here. So I'm just going to show you the finished product. So I was thinking of who to do, maybe this one or that one. But I actually went with this one, you know, because it looks a bit more evil and more cunning looking. <laughs> so the species name, I call them frost demons. They're known as Arcosians, but I just call them the frost demons or frosts, for the plural, and the coolers. For the adjective and then i put thought they'd live on this arctic world because you know they're pretty cold <laughs> i went with the roman names because they're conquerors i couldn't really see anything to do with like you know the ice or anything so and that's the next best thing because they are sort of like conquerors <laughs> and i went with this like noise that will get up the way and you know looks freezer looking the traits that i went for i made them slow breeders because there's not many of them because they're mutants Beautiful mutants. They're quarrelsome because they do not trust many aliens. And they get minus 10 unity for that from jobs. They are decadent. The species believes that we, whenever there is possible hard work that needs to be doing, their work is always best done by somebody else, like the freezer force with their little pea shooters. <laughs> and they're insanely strong because they need multiple forms to keep in all their power. <laughs> so, and they have army damage of 14, worker basic resources, collect five. And they're very intelligent because they're very intelligent and cunning, the Orcusians. As I've said before, like I chose the frozen planet because I think that's what they'd have. The home world is Frost, and the star name is Fridge. <laughs> Open the door. So I put them in a reptilian city setting because they're actually lizards, apparently, according to the creator. <laughs> the ethics. I'm going to say that they're extremely militaristic. They need true virtues and courage and discipline, and channeled properly, they can overcome any obstacle. Therein lies true strength, force within, I promise made. And they're fanatic xenophobes. Any alien influence must be ruthlessly quashed, only be staying pure and true to ourselves, and the planet they gave us life can we guard against insidious xeno plots. Which is what phrase is like. And they're a warrior culture, so they actually have 20% more armor damage, because that's what freezers like are. They used to be like traders, but now they're warriors. <laughs> Here we have the barbaric despoilers. So this society holds few things sacred. To fight is to live, and the strongest may seize whatever they covet. So they can actually abduct other aliens and bring them to their worlds. Which is sort of what like, the Freezer Force was all about, bringing the strong to the worlds. <laughs> and the kingdom is a bandit kingdom. This government is organized like a massive crime syndicate where the strong prey on the weak, and any neighboring states are seen as little more than raiding targets. So yeah, and we'll just put the xenophobe advisor. I've got in the freezer force and the frosters. <laughs> so this is the flag. I decided there's one main planet, which is the freezer planet, and then all the little planets that are in league with him. And they got the two white spots like the um their armor and the purple. So these are the ships. I went with a reptilian ship because these deadly space lizards like those type of ships. So we got King Freezer and the air is the prince. <laughs> I mean, I could go with King Cold, but I'd like to just go with the Freezer race. The Arcosians. So yeah, this is a Freezer. And he's a race. I reckon they'll destroy everything because they're literally 60% plus damage for their army. <laughs> it's going to be really interesting. So they're a banded kingdom. It's a warrior culture, barbaric despoilers. The fanatic xenophobes. The militarists. They get like plus 10% for being militarists as well. Fire range. Quarrelsome, decadent. Very strong. And very intelligent and cunning. That's the ship there. See, it's all purple and white. So, yeah, these are the freezer force. I reckon they're going to shred. We shall see.